Robert Drew is one of Australia's most celebrated short fiction writers, novelists, and editors. But most recently, his readership has fallen deeply in love with the first volume of his memoir, which was called The Shark Net, and even more recently, Montebello. Montebello, for those who haven't read it yet, I can only recommend you rush out and get it, having read Shark Net first. In this new second volume of his memoir, Drew returns to Western Australia, um, his home, and again returns, as he did in Sharknet, to the lives of his parents and the story of his childhood. This time, Drew is a teenager. Um, he's a bit older, and he's beginning his initiation into the world that will eventually become his marriages and his children. Alongside this story, um, Drew tells the story of Montebello, which is a series of islands off the coast of Western Australia on which the British tested nuclear bombs. Um, in the irony that is Australia, of course, it is now both a natural wildlife reserve and an enormous station for getting natural gas. Um, there is something extraordinarily fascinating about Montebello. It is a poignant book. It's a sad book. It's an enormously confessional book, which sits right up against Australia's uneasy history, a wonderful account of the natural life of those islands. And there is just something incredibly charming about it. Um, I adored Sharknet. I've loved this new book. And Robert Drew is just one of those writers you want to spend time with. And I'm really excited that he'll be coming to Writers Week to talk about the fiction and the earlier work, but in particular to talk about these true extraordinary memoirs.